is my great pleasure to address the opening of today's seminar on ASEAN Outlook in the Pacific. The Asia Pacific and Indian Ocean regions are amongst the most dynamic in the world as well as center of economic growth for decades. As a result, these regions continue to experience geopolitical and geostrategic shift, and this shift presents opportunities as well as challenges. Will the outlook seek to provide ASEAN response while maintaining the grouping's centrality? How does the other region, for instance Europe, to take collaborative efforts? on some issues which is very important, maritime cooperation, connectivity, the fulfillment or the uh, SDG Sustainable Development Goals, which is we already committed and to be fulfilled by 2030. And the list of opportunity will continue. Just two days ago, in Bangkok, the heads of state, government of ASEAN member states, gathered in Bangkok for the 35th summit and they retreat the importance of continuity and sustainability in ASEAN community building effort and commit to continue promoting partnership of sustainability and not only within ASEAN but also with the uh, international community in Europe. Here yeah, I think ASEAN and ASEAN outlook is important because um, ASEAN has been a bit of the oil on the waves many times and I um, we need to find ways to manage tension and sort of build on the cooperative uh, tendencies we do see. But also I think it's important that we don't shy away from the challenges. Even for Sweden, this will be, and then sort of the Nordic region, uh, this will be a very important region to keep looking at. Because, as I said, economic development comes out there, but also we could see a bit of the, the future tension and classes, clashes in this region. And I think it's important for Europe to be ready for what's going on and what's going to happen. The crucial importance of the region has recently been underlined by Professor Ayasuchi, Minister Stephen Smith from Australia, who said, and I quote, that the Indo-Pacific will be at the heart of geopolitics change, geopolitical change over the next 20 or even 30 years. Being a new center of gravity, Indo-Pacific is not only projecting political and economic preeminence, as well as military power, but also its problems and challenges. Indonesia with Australia are the only two countries in the world bordering directly with both Pacific and Indian Ocean. To, to use the words of Foreign Minister Nomar Sudi, for Indonesia, the two oceans represent a single geostrategic theater. With the rapidly developing situations, Indonesia soon realized the urgent need for ASEAN to play its customary role in advancing its own initiative on the Indo-Pacific. Otherwise, it may lose its centrality and in the face of the increasingly uh, worrying major power rivalry, it could even find itself, it uh, could find its unity in danger. Therefore, in 2018, Foreign Minister Ron Marsudi started to develop Indonesian idea of Indo-Pacific regional architecture with an ecosystem of peace, stability, and prosperity, which will be developed using ASEAN-led mechanism and based on the principles of inclusivity, confidence building, and international law. It's a framework for the development 
and peaceful development in Asia, especially in the Pacific region. And the uh, uh, character of the outlook is to sort of self-help that the region wants to develop. You, the EU, the role of the US, and the role of Russia in, in this, this region is very much dependent on the development of multilateralism, as I see it. So it's, I mean, we, we don't have any leverage, really, from the European um, uh, side uh, to influence the developments in, uh, in a strong way to in, in Indo, uh, the Indo-Pacific uh, region. So I believe cooperation within Indo-Pacific or outside of Indo-Pacific should always be carried out with a cooperative spirit rather than a rivalry spirit. Thank you. We especially welcome ASEAN's contribution through the release of its Indo-Pacific outlook. It reinforces many of the same principles that New Zealand wants to see apply in the region. It reaffirms ASEAN's centrality in facilitating regional cooperation. And it mirrors the partnership-based approach that New Zealand has embraced in our own Pacific Reset policy. Those regional countries, all together, they are becoming more and more uh, in the foreign policy agenda of the Russian Federation. And uh, we know that uh, Russia attaches more and more attention to development of ASEAN and uh, gives uh, quite a big uh, significance uh, to the further development of uh, Russia-ASEAN relations. Um, Malaysia welcomes uh, the adoption of the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific as it is in line with uh, our principles of ASEAN centrality, neutrality and non interference. Um, and uh, the outlook uh, should facilitate ASEAN member states' efforts to embrace new opportunities and manage challenges in a constructive manner, uh, taking into account the geopolit uh, geopolitical and economic complexities in the region and the broader international context. ADMM plus mechanism that should be one of the way of this uh, cooperation in the Indo-Pacific outlook. How do you see the cooperation in ADMM and other countries uh, outside ADMM Plus could be uh, uh, strengthened to uh, to make this positive outcome of the Indo-Pacific outlook? Thank you. We managed to prove that the membership of the ADMM Plus, which consists of countries, can work together in dealing with the non traditional threat to security, maritime security, peacekeeping operations, uh, disaster relief, uh, counter-terrorism, are those areas in which we have proven in the DMM Plus that can be work, we can work together. And I hope that uh, this is just a small contribution uh, on uh, the Indonesian embassy and your side and also my personally, my, my side personally, to uh, kind of to create uh, more awareness in Europe on the uh, development in the Indo-Pacific region. So uh, I cannot uh, thank you very much for uh, this uh, show of uh, attention in, in, in and then hopefully uh, what I've shared with you is also useful for you, not only for us. Thank you. So